Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's brand overview is from The Body Shop. I know, finally. They are easily one of my most requested brand overview videos. And I know for good reason. They are an established heritage brand. They are much loved worldwide. They are available worldwide. They are affordable. They were the first brand to really make an ethical stand. Um, and I know a lot of you are fans purely for that reason. The fact that the products are good is an added cherry on top. Um, some housekeeping. I am going to do this the way I do it, which is cleansers, masks, uh, what have I got? Eye creams, emulsions, moisturizers, SPF. Um, I'm going to dip in and out of all the different ranges within the body shop group, but I will make it very clear for you underneath. <laughs> I will make it very clear underneath uh, with direct links to the products so that you can find what you need. And on the blog, I will make it very clear in terms of this was cleansing, this was moisturizers, this was SPF. Hopefully that will help. Um, as always, any questions I will be in the comments afterwards. Let's start with easily the most popular, I'm doing this again, it's always a good sign, easily the most popular range for me and my readers within the body shop. Let's start with chamomile cleansing. Okay, chamomile cleansing, this is easily my most recommended body shop product. I don't even have to look at the stats because the stats are all in my brain, my brain is the computer. Chamomile, sumptuous cleansing butter, yes. Wait, sorry. Smell of vision. Oh, okay. This will, this for me is a makeup remover. It will destroy your makeup whilst making your skin sing. It is gentle, it is softening, it is soothing, it doesn't leave any sticky residue. I use it to take everything off just in one go. I take it all off with a warm flannel, wring the flannel out, do it again. Rinse and repeat, I believe is the terminology they like to use in the industry. Um, this is value wise amazing it lasts for ages it will remove the most stubborn of makeup if however you like to go in and do your eyes first for those of you who wear a ton of eye makeup those days are gone for me however in i have seen what my daughter and her friends wear if you wear waterproof uh, mascara or you wear a waterproof eyeliner you need this one this is waterproof eye and lip makeup remover I always, I think that's a very clever tip to anything that's waterproof here. If you have a really strong red lip, this will also take that off. So there's this one. The gentle eye makeup remover is this one. The one that you have to shake is easy to remember. It has the oil and water element. This is for your waterproof mascara and eyeliner. This gentle eye makeup remover for me is the body shop's equivalent of a micellar water. Now they don't make a micellar water, however, this is exactly what a micellar water should be. Super gentle, su suitable for all skin types, takes everything off, but doesn't leave you with any redness across the cheek where sometimes you have to rub harder. Brilliant value for money. Cannot recommend these three highly enough. Now, there are some people who prefer the texture of an oil. The Body Shop have got you handled there. Silky cleansing oil, you can do two things with this. You can use it in the same way that I would use the butter. So you apply it, one pump in the hand is ample. And by the way, for me, the chamomile range is a makeup remover range. I have a skin cleanser coming up. These are all for me stage one of cleansing. I'll tell you for why. The silky cleansing oil, you do one pump, loosens all your makeup, rinse it off. You can either emulsify it so you add water to your face, it turns it into a milk and it washes away, or you can use your flannel and take it off the way you would the others. This is the closest one I would use to a skin cleanser, but they are all for me, they shine brightest when used to remove makeup. So there's the two oil forms and then there is the two liquid eye makeup removers. All of them are brilliant. For actual skin cleansing, there is a new kid on the block that I haven't seen many of you mention and I haven't reviewed it because I'm lame. Um, let's fix that now, shall we? Do you remember the Nutriganics cleansing gel? I think it was the Nutriganics cleansing gel. I loved it, we all loved it. It was discontinued. Don't worry, they've pulled it out the bag. This is Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Cleansing Oil in Gel. Now it's called a cleansing oil in gel, but the texture is that of a balm. It is a beautiful light balm in 
a tube which is incredibly hard to do. They've mastered it here. There is no leakage, there is no dripping. It also is not in any way too stripping. Some balm cleansers can actually strip your skin of oil. This does not do that. The Oils of Life range is, I kind of say it's for a slightly older skin. However, because it's the body shop, there's only the odd product range that I would say you need to steer away from if you have a certain skin type, and I'll cover all of that when I come to it and also in the comments. This is suitable for everyone. If you don't like an oily balm, then you can go to the waters and the chamomile. If you do and you want one that will clean your skin, not just more for makeup removal, try this one. It is a gem. I haven't seen it about that much, but that's the thing I find with the body shop. When I pop into store or when I'm meeting them or when I see something online, I always find something I did not know they made. This was one of those products. Um, I was around for the oils. I think the Oils of Life launched, I think it was 2016. If I'm wrong, I'll flash it up here. Um, and the Oils of Life, just while I'm focusing on it, is black cumin oil from Egypt, rosehip oil from Chile, and camellia oil from China. It is very much about revitalizing. It's for a duller skin, slightly older, like I said. But this is just, it's full of hidden gems and this is one of them. That is cleansing. Um, micellar water, it's micellar water by name. Um, waterproof makeup remover, a cleansing oil, a cleansing butter, and an oily balm. Get in. That to me is enough for anyone, all skin types, job done, tick the box, send me home, stick a pin in me, I am done. However, if you want a bit more intensive cleansing or, or you do your normal cleanse and that's where you would normally do a mask, I'm thinking more of the weekend for me, I don't have time during the week, then you're gonna go on to the Body Shop mask selection. Now this was revamped, I think this was last year, if I'm wrong again, I'll put a note below. This was revamped very much in the thinking of, let's do masks that target dehydration, sensitivity, a challenged skin that has blemishes, um, a skin that might be a little bit dull. And let's give people what they want, which is a dedicated mask for each of those. I have picked six. There are more across the body shop. The reason I've picked these six, and I will show you them now, this is the one I meant for if you wanted a little bit more of an exfoliation. Tea Tree Skin Clearing Clay Mask. Now this, love the smell sorry should give you a nice little demo shouldn't i uh the tea tree range is for you if you suffer from blemishes if blemishes are the bane of your life you are in the tea tree section technically there are the odd product across other ranges that i'm going to recommend this is for you if you want a clay mask with a little bit more um designed to just help bring them to the fore but at the same time keep the skin calm you don't want anything too harsh too stripping there are those of you I know who are fairly sadists in the skincare freaks who just like a deep cleansing mask. There is one in the main selection, but this is also one to check out if you do get sort of the, the odd hormonal zit blemish. You know what I'm talking about. If you look in there and you go, what is that? Oh, what is that? I would whack a bit of this on it personally. Hard to go wrong. Let's stick with that category. Uh, Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. Now, oh man, this is kind of, I would call this a grown up version of this, if that makes sense. Whilst this is very much targeting blemishes, the word purifying tells you immediately what you're gonna get from this. Um, charcoal, but done in a very nice, sensible, nourishing way, not in a sort of horrible stripping, peeling off way. You're not gonna get any redness or irritation from this. Your skin is gonna feel smooth afterwards. You're, it's not gonna feel tight or in any way challenged because if you do have a blemished skin, the, what you don't wanna do to it is challenge it so much with product that it becomes red and angry and just wants to shout at you even more. That does no one any favors. It's like screaming at a child that is already screaming. This will take care of a blemished skin without being too harsh. Let's say you're in a similar vein, except it's not blemishes, you're just dull. Did you like that flick? You're just dull. Not in character, just in the face. Amazonian Asai Energizing Radiance Mask looks like this. 
oh i'm not kidding it looks like raspberry jam these when they did the launch of this they had them all out and we were all playing with them and all it made me was hungry when i get to the oats you'll see why but this is um my skin's a bit dull i need a bit of oomph um it's not it, I don't want anything that's going to really, really stimulate it because, like I said before, you don't want to do anything that's too antagonistic. But in general, this is revitalizing a bit of a, oh, you know, uh, I've been traveling, I look like I've been traveling, or I've had fun this weekend and I need my boss to think I'm just have a healthy glow. That's this one. Um, let's do, let's stick to that course of thinking. This one is for you if you are dehydrated and you want immediate plumping. You want to immediately sort of have the illusion of filling in fine lines, anything around here. Now, oh, British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Looks like this, it's like jelly. It is alcohol free. So when you put this on, if you're going to do this, what you could do is do this. You could do the purifying first. You could do a bit of tea tree first. You could put this on afterwards and leave it on. Most of it will absorb into your skin. If it does absorb, I always say with masks like this that are almost like a light gel lotion, do another layer and then let that absorb, tissue off any excess, give it a spritz, maybe add a teeny bit of moisturizer if you need it and go about your business. Uh, rose, if you think of rose and hydration, this is yours if you are dehydrated. If you are the other side and your skin actually feels like it needs more nourishment, it feels drier, it feels like it needs a bit more uh, care and consideration, Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. Now this one, oh lordy, this is a similar texture to the rose, you can smell the honey, it is designed to be nourishing and to really soothe a drier skin without any greasy after effects, without the danger. You know, sometimes if you use a product that's designed for a dry skin, you can get you can get sort of small whiteheads because the cream is too rich for you. You shouldn't have that problem with this. The although it's called deep nourishing, it's also extremely light. So the action is in the product and what it does on your skin. It's not sort of in the ingredients where they just throw a load of heavy, heavily moisturizing ingredients in and sort of say, oh, that's for a dry skin. That's not what this is about. This is for giving a skin that, you know, sometimes if you feel a bit tight, the honey is for you. Now, if you are sensitive, if your skin is angry with you, if it's red, if it sort of feels hot to the touch, that can sometimes just mean it's dry, but it generally will also mean you have a touch of sensitivity. Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Instant Soothing Mask. This is designed for you, like I say, if you get tightness, if you get itchiness, if you sort of, you, you can feel like your skin is annoyed with you and is trying to tell you something, this is for you. This is also my favorite smell and texture. This, to me, <laughs> looks like breakfast. Smells like a dream. Um, this one is instantaneously soothing. You won't get any uh, stinging, you won't get any, you know how sometimes we, we, when I recommend products for example I'll say you're going to feel this on your skin, you're going to get a bit of a sting, you may feel a slight burn. In this case in the body shop there aren't any products that, was, that I would need to say that but this is the kind of product that you put on a skin that feels like that a lot of the time on its own, if that makes sense. So sensitivity, oats. Nourishing, bit dr on the drier side, honey. Dehydrated, like, oh, I've sucked all the energy out of my skin this weekend, had too much fun, rose. Um, energizing radiance mask, I'm a bit dull. Again, remember, not in character, just on the skin. And then charcoal purifying, Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask is I have blemishes, but they're not my main concern, but I would like a mask that takes care of them, or I am going to multiple mask. If you are going to multiple mask, always start with the clay option first, because you're gonna do a deep cleanse first. So it's gonna be one of these two first, then you'll go in, and then it depends entirely upon, and this, this is for all skins. All skins can use purifying glow, except for perhaps the most sensitized, but you'll know. You'll instinctively know. If you look at it and you smell it and you go, 
mm, it smells a bit much for me, then you'll know, your, your mind is not stupid. You are telling yourself this might be a bit much. However, if you want a good clearing, deep cleanse exfoliating mask, you can easily do this every week and follow it up with one of the others, depending on your age, depending on your skin type, any current skin conditions. The joy of those is they are all, I think they're like a cozy treatment in a jar. And it doesn't take a lot of thought, a mask does it? You whack it on. Um, you know, I used to say, uh, there's two trains of thought when it comes to masks. There is, I'm gonna do it as a treat to myself because a lot of people when they have a face mask on, they take five. They sit and watch telly or they make a cup of tea or they do both. A lot of people use masks as a treatment. So they use them tactically to fix things that they can't quite tweak with their skincare. With the body shop masks, you can do both. Okay, cleansers and masks are done. Next stage for me is a mist. Um, Coco Calming Face Mist and Rosy Dewy Glow Face Mist. Now, one, there's one difference. The Coco says hydrates, soothes and makeup friendly and the Rose says hydrates, illuminates and makeup friendly. I actually think they're extremely similar in what they do in the action on the skin. I would go by smell preference. If you are someone who likes to have a quick burst of something fruity, uh, also hydrating, you would go rose. Oh, it's light, I say fruity, it's like a light fruity rose. I know that makes no sense. And smell is so individual, I do apologize. Cocoa is obvious, but it is not overpowering. It is super, super light, the scent. I mean, let's give you a little demo. So, if you are in the market for a mist and you want something for travel, you want something for an airplane, you want something for your handbag, they're in plastic, they are tiny, they are great for just a quick mist, and off we go. I've picked out two eye creams, one because I like the franchise itself, and one for the most sensitive of itchy eyes that I get quite a few requests for. The first one is Oils of Life, Intensely Revitalizing Eye Cream Gel. Now this is 20 ml, it's a hefty portion. You know in the industry the standard is a 15 ml. This is a 20 ml, it's a big fat pot. It will last you ages. I'm doing that again, which means I'm being very emphatic. Um, I'm giving, putting way too much on my hand just so I can show you. It is an immediate, let's have a look, oh. It's a really light gel cream, it absorbs really, really quickly. This will give you glow, but also instantly make this area here appear to be smoother, a little softer, like you've just taken a little bit of a filter on it, if you know what I mean. If your concern with eyes is uh, irritation or itchiness or dry eye, the Body Shop has a perfect product for you that doesn't get spoken about much, which is why videos like this are so much fun to make. Elderflower Unperfumed Cooling Eye Gel. Now it looks like this, it literally looks like a plain, completely plain, gel textured unscented literally just here I can see myself in my mirror um, it takes seconds to absorb this is for you if you want instant relief so this is much more about looking after your eyes and making sure the sort of first signs of aging you you just sort of want to help deal with this is for you if you if your eye the feel of your eyes is a constant source of irritation, whether it comes from uh, pollen, anything that sort of makes your eyes a bit irritated. Dust, now I've just done it to myself. <laughs> um, this is lovely, and again, both are in plastic. Both very, very easy to travel with. Also, I, what I love about both of them is that they're both suitable for all skins, but especially the Elderflower Unperfumed one I picked because it is one that you can give to anyone and they'll feel some instant relief, especially in the under eye area. A no brainer. Uh, I'm gonna start the moisturizing section with Drops of Youth. Now Drops of Youth is for you. I would say Drops of Youth is for you if you're in your 20s and it is your first foray into seriously trying to take care of your skin. Maybe the body shop is a step up from you. Uh, you've previously shopped uh, in pharmacies or you kind of are just dabbling. I get a lot of people in their 20s who sort of start to take care, of the, start to take the care of their skin seriously. Drops of Youth is for you. There are a couple of options I've picked out. I'll tell you for why. 
First of all, youth cream. This is for you if your skin is a little bit drier. I'm not saying drier, just feels a little bit not as comfortable as you would like. It is very, very slightly richer, still a really, really light texture that easily absorbs. So this is for you if you just want a good coverage moisturizer that is going to give you some comfort and nourishment. If you are in your 20s, slightly more combination skin, you want something light, and you don't wanna wear a lot of layers of products because your skin is, like I say, prone to being a bit oilier, maybe you suffer from a couple of blemishes, the Youth Fresh Emulsion is your anti-pollution emulsion, but it's also SPF 20. So if you want a one-stop shop, you know, a lot of people are time pressed. They say, I can't be bothered. I always get, I can't be bothered. I haven't got time. Well, yes, you have. Make the time. Oh, I do love an SPF smell. Um, this is for you if you think, okay, I just want a cleanser. I can make myself wash my face. I want a cleanser and I want a moisturizer and I want to go. You can do any of the chamomile and then just do this in the morning. Um, the SPF 20 is perfectly ad adequate if you are just in your normal out and about daily life. Drops of Youth is a great place to start when you're a youth. See what I did there? Um, right, let's go to the vitamin E. There are three vitamin E products. One of them is night. I'm gonna do these two first. Uh, try not to trash the place, Caroline. Um, the vitamin E gel moisture cream for normal combination skin is this one. I've actually gone to two extremes, very like me. And the intense moisture cream for dry skin is this one. So blue is for you if you are slightly oilier and you can tell by the texture. It is literally like a jelly. It smells super, super fresh. It smells super fresh, oh my God. It smells super fresh. It is light enough to give you hydration, which is what you want. It is not going to give you too much on the nourishment side, which is what you do not want if you have an oily combination skin. You don't want to overload the skin with oils. The moisture, the intense moisture cream does the opposite. This is for you if you are drier. Let's do a compare and contrast, shall we? So this is for you if you're normal combination. Are they gonna fall on me? <laughs> Never mind. This is for you if you are dry skinned. So this is, you're still, and the vitamin E is across all age groups, um, all categories. For me, the vitamin E really symbolizes the body shop. It's the product, I imagine it must be one of their best sellers. I don't know. I would guess the vitamin E is in their best sellers. Um, the intense moisture is your perfect bookend moisturizer. If you just want a good moisturizer that is gonna do what it says on the tin and you have a dry skin and you need that immediate relief from the tightness. The gel moisture cream is for you if you want hydration, protection, but you don't want too much oil. I'm getting very emphatic again. I can see my hair is bouncing. Um, that's vitamin E. Couple of options, and let me just bring these around before I hit SPF. I'm getting there, people, I'm getting there. Couple of options for you in the extremes, aloe. The Body Shop aloe range is so underrated that it's painful for me. I recommend it regularly to people who say, I want a really brilliant affordable moisturizer, but I have sensitive skin. Um, things like animal testing are really important to me, so I can't use X, Y, Z. So I go, try aloe. So Body Shop Aloe Soothing Day Cream. There is an SPF cream and there is also a night cream. They're coming. This is for you if you want a day cream equivalent. I am gonna make noise while I'm looking for everything. If you want a day cream equivalent, of the oat mask. If your skin is sensitive and you need comfort in a moisturizer, if you put a product on your skin, if the, if the sort of, the be all and end all for you is comfort. If your skin feels antagonized, if it feels red or angry or sensitive and you just want to put something on your face and go, okay, chill, you are aloe. If you are always sensitive, if you've just gotten sensitive because you've had a reaction to something and you know you're not gonna need a big fancy expensive cream because it's temporary, try aloe. It's a great range across all skin types but especially for sensitized skin. On the other side of the scale, if you are oily combination, then I'm talking to you right now, Barbara. Uh, seaweed oil control gel cream. Now, you're seeing a theme here. I love what the Body Shop have done in recent years. They used to just make a moisturizer. In the 80s, 
when I used to shop in the body shop when I was a teenager, in the Duran Duran days, when we all used Jubilee, yes. Um, in the 80s, they would make a vitamin E cream, and that was it. Then there was night cream, now there's a gel cream, now there's a deep moisture cream. I love that they are responsive to and receptive to customer feedback. Seaweed oil control gel cream looks like this. Oh, <laughs> uh, again, super, super light. It is not stripping, it is not tacky and, and sticky. It is for you if you are oily combination. If you kind of think, I'm shiny by 12 o'clock, but I don't have a lot of blemishes, I just have an oilier skin, then you are seaweed. If you are shiny and you have a lot of blemishes, you're tea tree. I tend to recommend most people to start at seaweed because it's such a good middle range for those of you with combo skin. If you find you need something that's even more targeted to blemishes, you bump it up to tea tree. I start people at seaweed because it isn't going to be so much on the light side that you won't get the hydration you need. Does that make sense? I hope so. I've got some SPF products. One of them is gonna be well known to you, but I'm gonna go there anyway. Special shout out for taking care of the lips. Vitamin E, Moisture Protect Lip Care, SPF 15. This is, people just don't think about lip balm. It's always about a big glossy thing. But if you are doing SPF all over your face, why wouldn't you take care of the lip area? Makes sense to me. Special mention because I am forever giving lip balms to my kids and it made sense to me. I was like, well, if I'm so obsessive about them using SPF, why am I giving it to them for their lips too? Two SPFs. Soothing Moisture Lotion SPF 15. Now this is again aloe, so it's fragrance free, colorant free, paraben free, alcohol free. Um, this is, I want to use an SPF, but I have sensitive skin and I find that a lot of SPFs irritate my skin. Um, I find that when I use SPF, my skin does not like it. I get a lot of requests like that. Go into the body shop, find the aloe range, find the SPF, because a sensitive skin still needs SPF, and therein lies the problem. SPF can be a challenging ingredient, so the body shop do what they do best, which is to get their scientists to make one that is really light, already absorbed, really light, oh, literally the lightest, faintest SPF scent. Nothing else in there. They try and keep it uh, no irritants to an absolute minimum because the potential of anything else causing your irritation is not what you want when you have, have a sensitive skin. So soothing moisture lotion is for you if you do have a known sensitive skin, if you know your skin is going to be angry at you just because you had the audacity to wake up, try this with the added SPF. If you want what I call a hardcore SPF, and I say that in the best way of a compliment, in the best way of a compliment. Yes, that's almost a sentence, well done. Body Shop Skin Defense, Multi-Protection Essence, SPF 50. This does not play. I love this SPF. When I first blogged about this, I had some people saying, oh, it's so light. It is, I mean, it's gone already. I now, bear in mind, I have now put three SPFs on my hand in quick succession. There's there's no stickiness, there's no rolling. Look, rolling, rolling, rolling. Again, I'm doing it, I can't help myself. Um, this is for you if you, you have a favorite moisturizer and you just want a good SPF. You don't have time to faff about and you want an SPF that you can trust. You want a high SPF, but you, you don't like ones that are too thick, which is always the case. Um, if, you're, if you don't know what you're looking out for in an SPF 50. This is SPF 50, the maximum that I generally recommend. If you go higher than that, it's usually on recommendation of a dermatologist and for good reason. However, 50 is for all of us who are worried about any kind of, any kind of protection from the environment, from the sun, from pollution, antioxidant protection. I love this SPF, I think I've made that clear. It's been on the blog before. I will try and, uh, I will link to the original blog post about it underneath. Let's finish with some night products, shall we? Um, which one am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna start here. If you have a blemished face and you think there is nothing I can put on my skin that I can sleep in because I wake up with more blemishes or I wake up and my skin doesn't feel like it's had any nourishment, Oh, tea tree night lotion. 
super super light obviously there's no SPF in it it's a nighttime product um, it is light enough that you can go to sleep you won't experience any stickiness but while you're sleeping it will help to chill your skin out chill your skin out um, and soothe the blemishes so that you don't wake up because most people who have a blemished skin it can also be sore people forget that people who people forget people and brands can sometimes forget that people who have a challenged and blemished skin it can also be quite sore this is also soothing it's not going to cause any further damage which should be clause number one across all skincare unless you are damaging your skin on purpose for a healing benefit xyz in a professional environment when we're doing things like this, rule number one is cause no further damage. I'll do this again. Okay, soothing night cream, aloe, formulated for sensitive skin, no scent. This again is for you if you think, I just want to go to sleep tonight and know that my skin is not going to be angry with me, it's not going to be irritated. Again, look, I don't, I've lost count of how many creams I've put on this hand now. No rolling, I can't, I can't stop doing that myself, okay. Um, really really nourishing but not greasy there's a fine line isn't there between putting something on when you go to bed and feeling sticky and feeling it sticking to your pillowcases this will just soothe your skin it won't make it feel heavy and greasy finishing actually finishing getting there finishing with one of my favorites from i would say the body shop's iconic range so it's back to vitamin e this is nourishing night cream suitable for all skin types this is to me the body shop's version of a cashmere blanket in a pot it is lightly oh lightly fragranced it smells now it's up my nose it smells like comfort to me it is suitable for all skin types obviously if you have a super sensitive skin or a super challenged skin you can look at the other options i've mentioned if you just want to cap off your day with the feeling of i just want to give myself a little bit of moisture without going too heavy i just want a nice night cream this is a great place to start the nourishing night cream is for you if you you find yourself saying i don't really want to i don't really want to do anything too challenging i just want to get into bed and go to sleep and know that when i wake up i've done everything i can to make my skin look its best go here right now i know this isn't a lot, but you know, the joy of doing these videos is that I get to pick my favorites and these are my favorites. So chamomile cleansing, I'm gonna wash my hands now because I've got 55 products on them. Uh, chamomile cleansing and oils of life cleansing oil gel are, for me, they were no brainers. There are, there's so much information about these already on the blog. Get to it, people. Masks, just a brief recap. Tea tree on blemishes or a very blemished skin. Rose, rehydrate think about that rose rehydrate charcoal purifying um, a clay mask for all is the way I would put it they may disagree but never mind um, honey deep nourishing this is for a drier skin Amazonian SI energizing radiance I look dull I look tired I haven't been feeling well and I need my skin to lie for me and fake it till I make it soothing oats porridge breakfast softening put it on the skin for instant relief from itching love it sprays coconut rose and this is not what i would call heavily rose try this if you think you don't like rose try this you may surprise yourself i'm very slammy sorry i'm being very emphatic again eye creams oils of life revitalizing eye eye cream gel super light suitable for all uh your first sort of first for first port of call for you if your eyes are your main area of concern you go here if your eyes are your main area of concern but only because they are itchy and make you do this and they're irritating and they get hot and oh and you just want some relief i'm sure i just did a lot of faces that'll be great on memes thanks for that elderflower elderflower is for you Drops of youth, if you're in your 20s and you're looking to start your routine into sort of taking a serious step into caring for your skin, drops of youth is the range for you. And then moisturizers is where you can really, oh this, I'm just gonna do it like this, this looks amazing. Just please hold cool up. So we have seaweed, aloe, vitamin E, all here, all appropriate depending on whether you want uh, AM with SPF or a PM blanket. 
I'm going to be using that as a blanket. Um, aloe with SPF. Tea tree as a light night ocean for a more challenged blemish skin. And let's finish off with skin defense because that is what it's all about, isn't it, people? Defending the skin. I hope that was helpful. Like I say, brilliant for bookending. Loads of cleansing choices, loads of moisturizing choices, loads of mask choices. Do let me have any comments below. I will get to you as soon as I possibly can. I imagine there will be a lot because like I said, Body Shop was very much requested and is massively popular. And when I do, when I pay particular attention to brands that are available in a lot of countries, there are a lot more comments than usual. So bear with, we will try and get to you as quickly as we can. I say we, like there's 10 of us, me. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, what's next? Can't remember. Uh, have a great day, see you soon, bye.